Hello, this is Janet from the West End Library in Laurelton, Pennsylvania. This month's book review will be on a book that the monthly book reading group had read and discussed in great length and with great enthusiasm. The All Girl Filling Station's Last Reunion was the first book I'd ever read by Fanny Fly, and I am so glad I did. It was so enjoyable. There was history, family issues abounding, and a lot of humor. The historical point was one I had not been aware of prior to reading this book. The waves and wax were very well known about during World War II. However, a group I had never heard of until now were the WASPs, the Women Air Force Service Pilots. What a phenomenal piece of history for the U.S. The story begins with Suki Poole. Suki is her nickname just having married off her third daughter, dealing with a very difficult mother named Lenore. Her husband is a very supportive person and she loves her children very much. However, Suki feels as if she has not been much of a success in life by being a housewife, raising her daughters and one son, and being belittled by her mother, until Suki receives information about her mother that she was never aware of. Her mother, Lenore, um, was always bragging about her historical Southern background and her always presenting to be more than Suki could ever compete with. Once reading the information Suki received, it throws her entire life into a new perspective and she begins to dig into her mother's background. Suki's search takes her back to the 1940s and World War II and she begins to find out ab about a woman named Fritzi. Going to a psychiatrist to help her deal with her insecurities and to try to better handle the information she is uncovering in itself becomes a fun-filled endeavor. Because of Lenore, Suki's mother, she does not want anyone from town who knows her seeing going in and out of a psychiatrist's office, so she meets with him at various restaurants and places of business. If someone would suspect, it would be misconstrued as something more than a professional meeting, which is exactly what happens. With her new strength to stand up to people, she takes this rumor to even greater heights just to get people talking. Of course, her husband is made aware of her seeking professional help, but the town likes to spread gossip. Suki and her husband and family live in Alabama, where all is to be prim and proper, especially according to her mother, Lenore. But the information she begins to uncover opens up another world where she begins to uncover the woman Fritzi, Fritzi's family, and the incredible life they lived in the Midwest. Finding out that she herself was Polish and had been adopted by Lenore, who had never told her about her beginnings, really started Suki on a great journey, not only gaining information about her real family, but one of travel as well. Suki began a journey of self-reflection and learning about the, cult the Polish culture and foods. As it turned out, uh, Fritzi's family consisted of mainly girls with one brother who operated a Philip 66 filling station in the Midwest. Because of having so many girls, their father began teaching them all about auto mechanics and they all became very proficient in working on autos. They ended up running the service station and repair station while their father was recuperating from illness. Fritzi met a gentleman who flew airplanes and began to take an interest in that. She began training with him and it didn't take long before she was doing acrobatic tricks while the plane was in the air. She also trained on how to fly a plane and became a pilot. All of her sisters and even her brother eventually became pilots. When World War II broke out, there was a need for pilots, and the gentleman who had trained her, Willie, went to train pilots. Fritzi began questioning why women couldn't pilot planes for the war effort as well. She pursued the opportunity to go be trained in flying bigger aircraft that would be used in the war effort. Suki's brother enlisted in the service, and he flew for the, new, for the war effort. All of Suki's sisters also became pilots. They were not actually flying in battle, but transporting planes from factories to airfields where they were needed, or moving planes from one airfield to another. There were a total of 25 some women who initially trained and Suki became one of the main trainers. 
of course having to prove herself to the male trainers who scoffed at women flying fighter jets to and from places. These courageous women were referred to as WASPs, Women Air Force Service Pilots. They were able to move planes from one place to another, which made getting new planes from the factory to airfields faster. In total, there were over a thousand women who were trained to fly these planes. All of this information Suki began exploring and she also found out that Fritzi was still alive, living in California. With her husband's encouragement, she contacted Fritzi, who then invited Suki to visit her in California, which she did. A lot of questions regarding Suki's background and who her true family was came to light. Suki had found out that Fritzi was her mother who had to give her up as an infant. She did share the information with her children and her husband, but did not tell her mother. In the meantime, Suki's mother had to move to a home and shortly passed away. She began to realize for the first time that Lenore, even though she was not Suki's birth mother, had raised her and through her children and friends, Suki began to realize her value. Suki loved to feed the birds that would become upset when the Blue Jays would steal the smaller bird seeds. So she came up with an idea, took it to a friend who built it for her and a business was born. She and her friend would soon not be able to keep up with orders. Fritzi invited Suki out to the Midwest to a reunion that she and her siblings had every few years to relive and a big get together reunion with the town folks as well in remembrance of the Phillips 66 filling station they had helped operate as children and teens. This was a joyous time for Suki meeting her true family. The book was such a joy to read and introduced me to a group of women who were instrumental in facilitating U.S. success in World War II. Please take the time to read the all-girl filling station's last reunion and learn a piece of history.